Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup. The reason for that is because I'm going to be reviewing Verified's new launch, their makeup brush set and also their blush that they had launched a few months back. So if that's something that you're interested in, do keep on watching. And also I had reviewed their IRL uh, Paris filter powder two videos back. I'll link it up here in the eye and also in the description box down below. If this is your first time stopping on my channel, then hi, I'm Sane and I make beauty, lifestyle, fashion and mom related videos. Do subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with as many friends and family as possible. And without further ado, let's get started. Now what I've decided for this video is that I'm not going to be explaining every you know particular brush and telling you what it does and what's the name and what is this and what is that. I will link Anam's video down below in the description box. She has explained it very well. She's the best person to explain it. What I'm going to be doing is that I'm just going to be using it as a normal consumer would for whatever I think is right you know. So it will just give you a very hands-on experience and it will just tell you as to you know if a particular brush is a highlighter brush you can even use it for something else if you want to you know so that's what i'm going to be doing today so if you want like in-depth details about every single brush and what it's called and what it's for and the ideation behind it i will totally link anam's video down below i think she would be the best person to tell you that i'm just going to give you the user experience and that's one of that's what's going to help you uh you know to make your decision and how uh, an actual consumer feels after using these brush so first let's start with verified's newest launch and newest baby this is their face brush set now you do get one two three four five six brushes in this and uh, this clear pouch did, does not come along with it on a normal day i bought this on launch day hence i got it for free but you have to buy this separately and the brush set separately so yeah i'll put the prices of all the products on the screen because i don't remember them so yeah now let's come to the packaging so i'll just quickly show you the this so this is how the pouch looks like it's a clear very simple basic uh, pouch uh, now the reason she said that it was such a big pouch and not like a pencil case kind of pouch was because she was like uh, along with the brushes you can also take all your basic makeup if you're just like you know going for a weekend or you're just going for a sleepover which is a good thing it's nice it's a good thought um, it's actually quite useful because then if you don't want to use this for the brushes you can just put all your makeup in or you know whatever's your choice this is quite a multi-purpose uh, product now it has like the verified logo as you can see here and it has a very basic zip nothing too fancy then you have the brushes and there was like a card in it let me just take that out so here this card basically tells you what the brand is about and then they are like social media handles and stuff and then this is how the brush came brushes came packaged which was very nice they took extra care to keep it hygienic even if it was in the pouch we start off my makeup i'm going to be starting by using the smashbox vitamin glow uh, primer so for foundation today i have the maybelline superstay my holy grail foundation for now i'm going to be using the verified brush in zero five the like about this brush is that it's not like too fluffy and or not too small also it's like a nice medium size it's very well cut so you know it totally fits like look at this so it totally fits on your face like that it's not like too poofy uh, as some brushes are and it just gives you very good angle because then it can get into like your the nooks and crannies of your face like you know the crevices okay so it's see when you put it against your skin it just fits so well so that's what i really like about this brush and it's synthetic so it's very like smooth and very nice i can even use this for like you know under eye powder if i'm like baking and i just want to just sweep off something okay so as i'm blending my foundation i'm seeing that there are some places where I feel my the brush is making the foundation a little streaky which doesn't happen on a normal basis but then if I go on blending it it kind of like goes off after some time and I think now I'm thinking now I'm kind of reconsidering that because it's like sort of a little thinner it's taking a little little more time like it's a not time it's a little 
little bit harder to blend but it's not something that can't be dealt with first impressions i feel that it's my foundation is taking a little time to blend because it's not that dense a brush i'm then going to be using my k beauty concealer in 140y medium this is a good yellow tone uh, concealer very good quality for my concealer i'm going to be using the 06 yeah the 06 uh, verified brush so as you can see over here it's this very uh, nice and tapered but fluffy tapered but fluffy kind of brush uh, that's it's like a medium kind of brush and um, as you can see it's like a nice small thing and it's dome shape so it's going to blend the you know concealer very well and it's a nice thin simple brush So let's quickly give that a spin. Now as you can see over here I'm not going to like brush it out I'm just going to like pat it. Yeah that did a great job. I feel like the my concealer is looking seamless right now. Pretty good. Yeah I like this brush. Like I like this. Um I thought I would like only my Pack 219 brush which is my con my go to concealer brush but I think this is also a very nice one. I just felt that when I was like you know patting it in it's it was not the softest. So the next brush we have here is a 01 powder brush. Now this is the brush that was launched with the IRL Paris filter and I've also reviewed this brush in my uh, IRL Paris filter powder uh, review so you can check it out in the eye. uh this is a very soft brush it's like an elongated but dome shaped on top so it blends the powder very well now if you're used to usually applying your powder with a very flat uh, you know fluffy poofy brush then this may not be for you because that was my case uh before i took some getting used to this uh this in my humble opinion is more like for a finishing kind of uh, powder application like for example the irl paris filter was like a finishing powder it was not meant for like coverage or like you know to cover something so um yeah i just that's just my logic i don't know uh that's just my experience and my preferences so yeah uh i love this powder when i i love I love this powder. I love this brush when I just want to just apply a little bit powder here and then not too much of coverage. But when I want coverage, I would prefer a denser and a little, you know, a poofier brush that would give me that kind of application. Now for my bronzer application, I'm going to be using this 04 brush of Verified as you can see over here. This is sort of like a multi-purpose brush. Now when I compare this to the powder brush, you may feel that is similar but it's not because this looks a little thinner and shorter a bit and this is sort of like fluffier so yeah this is how it is and this is like of a different color this is gray and this is white i feel these white wala brush uh, brushes uh, white hair wala brushes are softer than these ones for some reason i quite like this brush is doing a great job as a bronzer brush and i'm sure you can use this brush for various other purposes as well i need to explore this brush a little more to see what are the other possibilities so to add a little more flirty and beautiful rosy romantic vibe we are going to be using the camellia rose blush from uh, verify now this is how it looks as you can see right here um it's a beautiful rosy kind of shade Now when she was uh, describing this in her launch video she said it was a bit coral and that's the reason why I got it because I was on the lookout for a coral bl blush but this didn't really turn out to be the coral that I uh, you know desired I wanted that more peachy orangey tone in my coral uh, this is more like a rosy kind of straight up rosy kind of tone you know I don't know if the camera is going to catch the correct shade. So yeah, this is what the shade looks like. So it's not exactly coral I would say. This is more like a rosy pink. Nevertheless, we are going to be using it with the 03 brush today as you can see. This is her blush brush and um, I like that it's nice and fluffy because then it just gives a very nice blend. Uh so yeah, let's give that a spin. So I'm just going to apply it on like my outer apples of my cheeks not going to get it too much inside because then it makes me look very chubby so 
so yeah this is how it looks it's a beautiful blush and it's the best thing about it is that you can use it all year round uh it's just gonna give you such a beautiful look This is such a soft brush as I experience it right now. This is beautiful. I love this blush. Oh my, I like this. After a very long time, I've liked the blush brush. I've been actually on a lookout for a blush brush and I think this is going to be my favorite and my holy grail very soon. I love the size. Like it's not too poofy. At the same time, it's not too small because when it's too small, then it just applies it in a specific location and then you can't blend it very well. This is just the right amount. I love, love, love. So my first impressions of this and it has, and this blush brush with this blush, like it's amazing like now I'm experiencing the blush at a whole new level like I feel like the blush is looking so much more blended and so much more cute like cuter prettier I love the blush and the the brush is like even more amazing now the next brush that we have to explore is the highlighter brush. This is what it looks like. It's the 02 brush. Now as you can see over here, it's quite a thin brush. Okay, it's quite a thin brush and it's like absolutely dome shaped on top. So it's going to help you blend very well. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. But that's a little more, uh, you know, fluffy in nature. Whereas this is quite thin. Like you can see how elongated it is over here. Never really use such a thin highlighter brush. So let's check that out. I'm used to usually a very... A uh, poofy highlighter brush from Real Techniques, but I've never used a brush like that. So I'm so excited to try that out. So the fun of this, uh, this brush is that it's going to deposit the highlighter only in that particular area. You know, there are some highlighter brushes that just get the highlighter all over, like especially in your pore area over here, then your, in your blush area, and then you have to go and blend and then the blush goes off. So this is really helpful in just getting to that particular place, you know. So I'm quite surprised about this brush. As you can see, it's just helping you to get to that cheekbone area, you know, that, that point over here. So it's a really useful brush in my opinion. Only thing with this brush is that I'm just wondering now that this brush only like alone will not like blend, like, you know, give a seamless application. So for that, I might have to use my zero one brush and just get that blend you know so all three the uh, bronzer the blush and the highlighter can just blend now that we've used all the brushes that were in the brush set i'm just gonna finish my eye makeup and the rest of my makeup and i'll get back to you with my final thoughts so this is how my makeup turned out and it was a very super easy quick makeup look. I will be putting up all the details of my makeup that I didn't show on camera in the description down below so do check it out. I hope you like this beautiful look. Now my final thoughts. Um, I would say if you don't have any makeup brushes at all in your collection, you can get the set because it's obviously a better value for money. Uh, the pouch, I'm not very big on the pouch. I mean, it's like a very basic pouch. You can just get that off Amazon and any other brand, any generic brand. So unless you want the verified thing, then you can go for the pouch. Otherwise, it's a very, it's good quality. There's no doubt about that. But it's a very standard pouch. It's nothing like, oh my God about it. These brushes, what I told you, like the blush, the powder, the bronzer and the highlighter brush was amazing. Like these I would really like recommend. Whereas these two, you can skip. So in case you're planning to buy these individually, you can totally do that. Whereas these I feel is a skip for now. Maybe I need to explore them a little more and then I can see how I can use them better. So those were my thoughts and I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful, um, you know, in letting you choose which brush you should get. And uh, if there are any other recommendations uh, from your side would you like to uh, any products that you would like me to review please leave them down below in the description box i would be more than happy i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you very soon till then you can check my two videos out click on them click on the red subscribe button and on the bell so that it notifies you every time i upload a video thank you so much for watching and until next time bye